you're a new caddy on the PGA Tour, and it doesn't matter if it's 1990 or today. If you're new, you know, not many people know who you are. Not many people know how long you're going to last. That was certainly the case with me. And one night we went out to dinner, and it was buffet style. And the first guy through the line was Fred Couples. He was starving. He wanted to go to bed. He had this steaming plate of food, sat down, no silverware. So he looked up there at the people in line, and certain enough, you know, there are the knives and forks, and it was, you know, 30 feet to get to get him, and there was no way he was going to walk those 30 feet at that point in the evening. So he started yelling out these random names at the tall, skinny guy in line, none of which were mine. Mm -hmm. Then he yelled out Bones because I was so thin. I turned around, brought him a knife and fork, and I was Bones for the rest of the trip. And a month later, everybody on the tour was calling me that. And so, and I must say too, in that era especially, a lot of guys had nicknames they wouldn't tell their mother or their grandmother because of uh, you know they, what they were rated, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So to get a G-rated nickname like Bones was a lucky break. You were happy with yes. that one. That's good. <laughs>